Hey folks, it's Greg and Janet, and today we are at Woodlawn Cemetery in Las Vegas, Nevada, and we are here to see Roshi Wells. Roshi was an Olympic bronze medalist boxer. Okay, this is a very large cemetery, um, and Roshi is located at the back portion of the cemetery. He actually does not have a headstone. So. Yeah, that's pretty sad. Yeah, Being it an is. Olympic medalist, not even have a headstone. But he's in the pinyon section, and it's lot number 1563. And that is actually right here yes right next to manuel and chaka and behind james and lula richard and, and near cody hinton but this is where roshi wells lays at rest and roshi as a young boy was infatuated with the movie rocky he begged his father to let him become a boxer. The name Roshi derives from his father's love of the great football player Ahmad Rashad. So it was a takeoff of Ahmad Rashad's name that became Roshi. Roshi was born in December of 1976. He passed away August 11th, 2008. He was nicknamed the great one in the 1996 summer olympics he won three matches and lost one capturing the bronze medal as a professional boxer he won 18 matches lost two and had two no decisions with 10 knockouts he was only 31 years old when he died mm. he died he died from a gunshot wound a man named roger randolph who's 26 years old was the killer roger says that roshi tried to steal a hundred dollars from him and that was the reason for and and hit him also and that was the reason that he shot him the district attorney was trying to get uh, the death penalty but he ended up Roger Randolph is serving 20 years to life for the murder of Roshi and 1 to 12 years for discharging a weapon uh, he's got a long time to serve uh, what was going on Roshi was walking with his son down on Lamb Boulevard not a very good part of town and uh, I guess uh, the guy came up to him and claimed, you know, that Roshi punched him and then shot him. Well, here he is walking with his son. Why in the world would he be trying to steal a hundred bucks? But, you know, to see that this Olympic medalist doesn't have a, even a headstone, that was surprising to me. Yes, he had six children also. Yeah, yeah. So, and everybody liked him everybody liked him yeah we've heard nothing but good things right, about him so, right. so. Uh, everywhere we've looked online they talk about how friendly a person he was and the mm -hmm. fact that everybody enjoyed being around him yeah. so very sad situation um, but this is where Roshi Wells lays in rest and if you decide you want to come out to see Roshi's gravesite directly in front of us off in the distance is Las Vegas Boulevard. The cemetery is located at 1500 Las Vegas Boulevard. When you turn into the cemetery, you'll come straight down the main road all the way to the back. There's one section behind us. So we're in the next to the last section. And uh, he's not, not that difficult to find. You do need to know some of the names on the, the headstones around him because he does not have a marker. Um, but he's underneath this large 
What kind of tree is that, Jan? Pine tree. Pine tree. <laughs> so he's underneath this large pine tree here. Nice spot. It is. It's a, it's a shaded spot. He's. It's, it is a nice spot. Right yeah. What a shame. And he's only 31 years old when he died. He was still in his prime. Yeah, and and uh, who was it that helped finance his? Uh, yes, uh, uh, Evander Holyfield got word of Roshi when he was an amateur, watched him fight a few times, and realized how good a boxer he was, and Evander Holyfield ended up financing Roshi's training for the Olympics, for the 1996 Olympics. It's not a bad person to have as uh, yeah. a backup, is it? But they say he was didn't get full credit for his talent. They said he was awesome. That's why the great one was, you know, the name suited for him. They said he was just really, really talented and he really didn't get credit for the talent that he did have. Well, Roshi, may you rest in peace, brother. All right, folks. Well, if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, the subscribe button, hit the little bell up in the corner, and please share these videos. And until next time, we'll see you again real soon. Bye-bye.